Good morning, everyone. It is Friday, and today is the 15th of May. Now, I just wanted to give you an update. It does appear that this Sunday we will not be gathering together for worship. However, we continue to plan our communion service from 1 o'clock to 5 o'clock. So if you haven't signed up, you can still do so. So just to give you a heads up, we are anticipating that we will try to put together our worship services at St. Paul's the coming Sunday, as well as that Thursday. So May 21st, as well as May 24th, we are anticipating that those Sundays we will be at St. Paul's. So please keep an ear open for more announcements. Our devotion today is entitled Heroes for Jesus, and it's taken from John 14, verse 1 and 12, which reads, Jesus said, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Very truly, I tell you, whoever believes in me will do the works I have been doing, and they will do even greater things than these. Heroes for Jesus. There is a good reason why Marvel Studios is worth nearly $5 billion. Everyone loves a hero. But superheroes are in short supply, so we call anyone a hero who goes above and beyond to protect and serve. And we should. We should be thankful for our everyday heroes. They continue to work tirelessly to care, to take care of us during this crisis. But what about the rest of us? Those of us who cannot go to work, those of us who have lost jobs, What's our place and purpose? As nice as staying at home sounds, it does not seem very heroic. If ever there was a hero, it was Jesus. He worked tirelessly to care, to take care of others, feeding the hungry, healing the sick. But he did more than relieve the temporary troubles of people. He went above and beyond when he went to the cross. His death and resurrection supply the entire world with eternal protection from all of sin's terrible consequences. He gives forgiveness, life, and eternal salvation to all who trust in him. And he does more. He also gives you life, gives your life purpose. You are essential. By his powerful word, you can do great things. You can feed souls hungering for hope. You can forgive sinners hurting from guilt. You can comfort souls scared of death. Even during the crisis, you can do all these heroic things from your own home. Whether you are doing these things for those living with you or for those you reach out to online or on the phone, what a privilege it is to be a hero. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for giving me a place in your family and a purpose for life. Amen. That's all for our morning devotion. God's blessings to you this wonderful Friday. Look forward to having devotion with you this evening, as well as anticipating the weekend. May the Lord be with you all.